Hello guys and good morning. This is another day in my life. Today I'm actually going to do some software development work for a research project that I'm working on. So that's why I decided I'm gonna take you today with me. Um, I just dropped off my daughter at the kindergarten. Today is a work from home day. So that's when I'm usually dropping off my daughter in the kindergarten and I have a walk and um, now I'm going back starting then the day of work and we'll take you with me doing that. Before I'm doing that let me first introduce myself. My name is Florian. I'm a computer science professor in Germany. I have 20 years experience in software engineering and my mission is to help you growing as a programmer, as a software engineer. So if you're interested in that, then please subscribe to my channel. So here we are now in the office. First, I need to set up again my MacBook Air. I used it on the couch the night before and in general clean up the desk a little bit and then we get started. So the goal of today is to build a smartphone app that um, should run both on Android and iOS. I will focus on the iOS version today. And the goal of this app is that it should be able to collect GPS data and send this data to a backend server where the data is then stored. This is something that we might want to use in a research project that I cannot go into details here. But the goal of today is to build a prototype that uh, can do this basic functionality. To build this prototype, I'm going to use Expo and React Native. I have developed both Expo and React Native apps in the past, um, but uh, this was yeah, a while ago, so I first need to read up on a couple of things. And I um, need to make sure that I have uh, the, the latest tools that I need to develop here set up. But I think most of it should already be on my MacBook Air. So let's see how fast we can build a prototype that is basic GPS data collection. So as an IDE, I use PHP Storm from JetBrains. This is an IDE that uh, I really like working with for these kind of projects because it supports JavaScript and with that React Native for Expo in a very good way, but also PHP, which I will be using for the backend. The main reason why I'm using PHP for this prototype backend is my experience that I have with PHP. So building a backend there is definitely faster for me right now than um, doing it with Python or JavaScript. And I already have um, a server running where I can just put the PHP file and uh, everything is already working out of the box. So now it's almost time for lunch break, but we already have a prototype working that is getting the GPS data from the iPhone simulator and is sending it to the Postman Echo server. So the um, sending is working, the retrieving of the GPS data is working. So now it's a little bit of email and other administrative work that I have to do then um, there is lunch break and then I see you later. So here we are again outdoors. The prototype is now able to collect GPS data and I started work on the back end to just store the GPS data that is received into a comma separate value file. That's something that I will most likely work on then this afternoon. But uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun 
it was also pretty fast and smooth so looking forward to the afternoon writing a quick backend and then seeing whether I can actually plot that on Google Maps or something similar. Okay, talk to you later. So now it's time to build the backend. I'm building a very simple one file PHP backend that will receive the data as a JSON encoded string, will then decode it and write it in a file as a comma separated value because that's something that I can then later on plot on a map. And since I'm only working with one file, there's a little bit of overhead setting up a PHP Storm project for that. That's why I'm using the Sublime text editor just to editing this one file. And uh, yeah, now we're building the backend and then we'll later on test the app. Backend is now working, so now it's time to build the app with Xcode so that I can actually use it on my iPhone and then also test it over the weekend with uh, yeah, real car traffic, walking around and see whether it works actually outdoors. Uh, this far I only tested it with the simulated data where they already have different tracks with bicycles, cars and so on. But of course, um, real life is always different. So I'm looking forward to test the app then over the weekend. So with the goal of today achieved having built the prototype app, having built the prototype backend and being able to test it over the weekend, I can now start to cut this video so that I can then publish it on YouTube. So it's now time for a little bit of Final Cut Pro, recording some voiceovers and then it's already time for dinner. So this is already future me from cutting this video. I hope you have enjoyed this peek into my life. Of course, days are different when I'm at the university teaching, but in general, I would say uh, I have a lot of variation in my days. This was a day where I did a lot of software engineering work, a lot of software development. Usually I also do a lot of preparation for the lectures writing of research papers and so on. So if you are interested in more videos like this one in more insights in what I'm doing, then please leave a thumbs up for this video. And of course, leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos just like this one, or learn more about software engineering, how to take the step from programmer to software engineer and how to grow your software engineer career, then please subscribe to the channel so that I can see you in the next video.